Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today I am going to explain multiple scenarios to select values from a drop down or a list box in UiPath. So let's get started. For the today's demo, I am going to take this website. I will share this link in the description for your reference. So first let's take a look on this drop down which holds different color values. So we will create a UiPath project to select a value to select a color value from this drop down. So for that in the UI path, first of all, I'm going to use this open browser activity to open the URL in the Chrome browser. So let me take this URL here and I'm going to go with the Chrome browser from here and let's remove this do block. This is not required. Now to select a value from the drop down, I'm going to use this select item activity. So let me add it here and I'm going to indicate on the screen. Since we are working on this drop down, so let's indicate this drop down on the screen. And as soon as you indicated or the drop down, all the values from the drop down get listed here. So any of the color values you can select from here, whichever you wish to select from the drop down. Also, instead of this hard coded value, you can create a variable and provide the color value there. So let me show you. So for that, I'm going to create a variable here. Let's say color, which will be a variable of type string. As of now, let's go with a default value or you can also take the user input as well. So I'm going to take the color value as white and here I'm going to provide the variable color instead of the hard coded value. So all done. Let's quickly run this project to see how it works. Let me close this one and let's run this file. So the URL got launched and you see here the color white which we provided in our project got selected. So in this way we can select a value from the drop down. Now let's take a look into the next scenario where in a list box we can select multiple values. So in this drop down, this there was only the option to select a single value, but this is a list box where we can select multiple values. So if you hold control button from the keyboard and try to select multiple items, you can do so. Let's see how we can do this thing in UiPath. So for that, I'll move to UiPath. Let me remove this as start node and to select multiple items from a list box I'm going to use the select multiple item activity which is present under the control. So let me add this one here and this also need to be indicated on the screen. So indicate this list box on the screen. You have you'll have to indicate this complete list box on the screen. So this is done and in the properties you can see there is a multiple items property. So if you open this property the items which were selected in the list box that is Volvo and Opel is placed here. Now you can modify this item as per your requirement. Let's say that you want to select Volvo and Audi from this list box. So here you will provide instead of Opel, instead of this Opel, you will provide here Audi inside the double quotes and make sure that all the items are present inside the double quotes separated by comma and are placed under the curly braces. So this will be the format. You'll have to provide all your items in this format to select multiple items from the list box. So let's hit on OK and let's quickly run this flow to see how it works. I'm going to close these. UiPath is going to open it on its own. And the URL is getting launched. And multiple items which we provided here that is Volvo and Audi got selected in this list box. So in this way you can select multiple items from the list box using UiPath. Now let's take a look into the third scenario. Let's take a look into this drop down where we can select the title from this list. So this is a single select. So for this one, I'm going to try with the select item activity. So let me place it here. And here I'm going to use the select item activity. 
and let's try to indicate this one also on the screen and here we got the error this control does not sell support select item so why we got this error let me show you so instead of this element looking like a drop down this element is not exactly a drop down like this element let's take a look into the differences between these two elements so if you try to indicate this drop down on the screen here you see this complete drop down is getting selected not this individual red or this arrow mark is getting selected so this whole box this whole element is getting selected completely but if you try to select this element here you see this select title this arrow text box all these elements are getting selected individually not as a whole only like this one so this is one of the difference also if you try to inspect the elements here if you hit on f12 on your keyboard you can inspect the elements of the on the screen so if i try to if i try to indicate this element here you see the tag is select so for the drop down for the exact tab drop down the tag is select but if you try to inspect this element here you see the tag is div so let me show it to you again the tag here is div so these are the differences between these two elements now the question arises if we cannot use the select item activity then how to select the item from this drop down well there are multiple ways to do so the easiest way here is to click on this text box click on this text box and type your required title so let's say that i want to select the title mr so i will type here as mr and hit enter now let's see how we can do this exactly similar thing with ui path so for that move to ui path and i'm going to remove this select item activity this won't work in this case now here i'm going to use a sequence let me add the sequence here and in this sequence first of all we'll have to click on this text box so for that i'm going to use the click activity let me add the click activity here and let me just refresh this one and let's indicate the text box on the screen now after click we'll have to type something in this one so for that i'm going to use type into activity let me add it here and indicate it on the screen this one was the text box let's provide the text here which we wish to type so here i want to type mr you can also provide a variable instead of this hard coded value now at the end we'll have to hit enter so for that i'm going to use send hotkey so let me add the send hotkey activity here and key i'm going to select here as enter so with this sequence click on the text box type the value in the text box and hit enter with this flow we will be able to select the value from this drop down so let's see how it works let me close this one let's save this project and let's quickly run this one and the url is getting launched and mr the title got selected here as per our requirement now in these scenarios where the activity select item and select multiple items do not work web recorders is also a good option so in the fourth scenario i'm going to show you how we can use web recorders to select items from these drop downs so for this demo i'm going to take this drop down which is a multi select drop down here what you need to do you'll have to click on this arrow and select the colors from here since this is a multi select you can select multiple of colors from here also for this drop down this select item and select multiple items won't work you will get error so here i am going to show you how you can use web recorders in such case so let me first refresh this page and i am going to remove this one and now i am going to use the 
recording from the recording i'm going to use the web recorder since i'm working on a web browser you can also use the basic or desktop recorder as per your requirement so here i'm going to select this web option and from this web recording panel i'm going to choose this record option first of all we'll have to click on this arrow so click on that and here it is asking do you want to use an anchor so let's hit no and from here we can select the items so let's say that i select green and since this is a multi select let's take one more color let's take black and our recording is done so hit escape and select save and exit and here we got our web recording completed so let's open this one and all these activities got listed here first of all the attached browser then the flow is going to click on this arrow then it's going to click on the required colors so let's move back to flow chart and let me connect these two activities so all done let's close this one and let's quickly run this flow to see how we can select the items using the web recorders and my project is working now the url is getting launched and it's going to select multiple items from the drop down so it did so using the web recorder so if you move here here you see this green and black got selected so if you try to select the values from this drop down using the select item and select multiple items you will get the error you can check this out also using the web recorder you have the option of select item so if you click on this you if you select this web option again and here inside this click you have the option of select item so you can also use this one as well to select the items using this select item activity this flow i have already shown to you in the web recorder session in case you have missed that video i'll share the link in the description and you can check that demo as well so that's all for this session guys in this way you can work on different types of drop downs using the ui path and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel as well and i'll see you soon in the next one bye bye